Welcome to another exciting episode of Video Game Bang. Video Game Bang. Your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. It's when ish gets real. You can get shot during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the <laughs> right now. Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. Bang, bros. What's up, pizzas? Corey Vincent here, and you are listening to episode 200 of the Video Game Bang podcast. So I have said, what's up, pizzas, at least 200 times. Actually, probably more than that. It's, it's become my Twitter handle. It's a way of life. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on this very, very special episode. I can see chat already popping off here on twitch.tv slash video game underscore bang. If you want to watch the show, participate, uh, interact with us live, get your voice heard or read rather, you can check us out on that Twitch channel uh, or Facebook. We're on Facebook Live as well. Uh, Ivy puts it on her page. You can watch it on our page. But uh, needless to say, we have some uh, some treats in store for you guys, episode 200. Uh, let's get sponsors out of the way first. Energy Esports. Uh, thank you guys for all that you do for us. Uh, giving me a job is, is probably the number one thing. And giving us access to cool guests every once in a while. So thank you, Energy Esports. We have no voice. Uh, what do you mean? It says they can't hear us. Oh, no. <laughs> 200 shows, everybody. We 200, got this. 200 shows. 200 shows. We'll for, forever be known as such. Yeah, well, you know, that that's the that's the way it goes. That's that's the way things go, as, as the offspring once said. But, Shame! Uh, thank you so much to our other sponsor, Oblivion Comics and Coffee. Uh, come for the comics, stay for the coffee. And they are a great sponsor. We love them. We go there multiple times a week. We actually, it's not even as much of a sponsorship as much as I think we give them way more money. Yeah. I know me and Webb spend a shitload of money there each week. It's a great place to go hang out. Aaron, you're going to go attend a writer's meeting. It's called Shut Up and Write. Is that correct? Uh, I, I have to still research into it when they meet up every time. I got there two days ago right after they left. Okay. So it was like really dead quiet in there and then people were leaving and I went in there to do exactly what they just left to do. And, you know, so I have to see uh, how many times they meet up there. They got board game night. There's tons of stuff to do there. I'm trying to talk them into doing some uh, sealed Magic the Gathering tournaments. Please so don't. We'll see. Uh, we're going to nerd that place up right. Um, and we also got Mainframe USA. I'm wearing my glasses right now, my insane in the mainframes. Uh, Webb's got his on as well. Uh, they save your eyes. You only get two. Your entire life, you will only have two eyes that you were born with. So take care of them and uh, get rid of that blue light. Blue light's a bastard. I five. Speaking of bastards, he's joining me uh, for the sev no, the se 200th time. Yeah, 200th time. Uh, Aaron Carter, what's up? The seventh time? What, what are well, we? I was going to say 700th, but wow. I was way off. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Definitely not there yet. Uh, what's up, everybody? What do you think, man? Two hundred episodes, we did it. Um, I I I want to go back to one of the original ones and listen because I could have swore I said when we hit like the two hundred mark, something's gonna you know we're gonna say or we're gonna do something like maybe episode ten or something like that. I said when we hit like into the two hundreds, but I, I'll see what it. Yeah, I mean it's been a long time. Been a long, been a long time. Uh, we've gone through quite a few changes from that uh, first episode. Well, I mean as. Every you know, good show does. You gotta uh, evolve or die. I think we're pretty much different people entirely from when we started this thing. I'm pretty much the same. You are. Yeah, I've I, gone I, through a manifestation. I, uh, but... A statue of a man. Yeah. I am. <laughs> um, Speaking of statues, uh, he's here week in week out. Uh, I don't know exactly how many episodes he's been on. We need statisticians on the show to, to tell us stuff like this. I really w would we, love we to see one, that. Who? Gondo. Oh well, nah, he's not, yeah. not here. Yeah, yeah, I mean he could do it. But he could. He, he doesn't have the time to do that. But uh, David Webb, what's up? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, man? I uh, I estimate like a hundred episodes. You think you've been I think on hundred? I started two years in. But the weekend show kind of throws off things. That's true. So, so 150. Yeah, we'll call it 150. All right. 
All right. Split, split it down. <laughs> split it, split yeah. it down the middle. Yep. And joining us, uh, the newest member of the crew, uh, Ivy Doom Kitty. What's up? I'm doing all right. All right. Wow. Yeah, that was kind of yeah ominous. Came in soft. Yeah. It's not. You, this isn't normal. What's wrong? Are you okay? Oh no, I'm good. I'm I'm great mm. to see. I'm ha- I'm happy to see your mug again. I okay. I mean, wow. I'm gonna, things have been tense between us. He didn't Pe- people who listened to the last episode, but there's been a lot of talk, a lot of conversations uh, behind closed doors, and uh, I, I think we're good. I think are we good, Ivy? No, no, they're not. Are we? No. I am. I mean, are are you? I don't know, Corey. Are we? Well, I have something uh, a special presentation for all of those watching for episode 200. No, 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 no. I have I have something for you. You have something for me? Is it a Hold club on. so he can beat live She's baby sales? She's showing us a shirt. Oh, my God. Wait. It's a Gatorade bottle on a T-shirt that says, I buy my own. Wow. Lovely. <laughs> lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, yeah. I hope that thing costs you $17. <laughs> Said it costs exactly seventeen dollars. I hope that shirt cost you seventeen dollars on the nose. Said in, uh guess who made it? Consuela. <laughs> <laughs> Say Corey, hi. This is your life. Say hi to the camera. I Consuela. went back to San Diego and I found Consuela. Yeah, she uh, happened to have a T-shirt press. Well, at least I yeah. know that I, I I buy my own Gatorade. Everyone can know I I actively purchase my own things. Well, that's good for you, Ivy, uh, and I wish I had too. It's part of the regret process, and uh, you guys know me. Uh, I don't, I don't words too well. I don't, I don't Sheldon talk. Sheldon said he's gonna donate a billion Facebook bits. <laughs> Damn, a billion Facebook. I, bits. I, people, I don't think understand that oh, I do man. feel bad about it because I still get messages. I got a message this morning on Twitter that says I was so disappointed in Corey, and I expect that. I, I appreciate that you guys care enough to be disappointed in me. Uh, I or wanted troll you. Uh, or troll me, but I wanted to get my grief out and tell my side of the story. And how you couldn't tell her side of the story. <laughs> That's for damn sure. I, I I'm had telling to do, her side on of her story right here. I had to do it in the only way I know how, and that is through song. What? So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my latest track. She was a. Oh my god, wait. I was a. You have too much time on your hands. <laughs> Way too much time on your hands. I was walking down the streets of San Diego Comic Con. I had the big hot sun just beating down on me. I saw an old homeless woman selling Gatorade on the street, and I was very, very, very thirsty. But if you pay me three bucks, your hydration is in luck, and we can go about our separate ways. I had the 20 in my pocket, but the woman thought she saw it, and I walked away with all of her change. I said, I know what I did is wicked. I don't know what came over me. I got lots to cast. I've got a debt to pay, and all of Ivy Doom Kitty's fans hate me. Good lord, <laughs> that was a stretch. Bad. I can't go back, though I really wish I could. Oh, I know what I did is wicked. But I'll turn it into something good. And you didn't. I will tomorrow. Yeah, I'm still waiting on <laughs> that's that. That's the second part of my announcement. Tomorrow, I am going to join up with Mike Betancourt from the Me, Mike, Self, and I podcast. And uh, we're going to go hydrate the homeless downtown Sacramento. We're going to take crates of water and hand them out. Uh, I'm going to do that for, for a few hours. And uh, that, 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 that's going to be my penance. And uh, it won't be the only time. I'll, I'll get out there with him and his crew who do this regularly several times. Uh, it's something good to do. I feel I feel I, it can't take back what I did, obviously. But I can do some good. I spread some awareness. Hopefully some of you guys out there who you know don't necessarily have to feel guilty about anything, go do it too. And uh, we could turn a negative into a positive. So, uh, Aaron, you like this song? Did I do okay this time? No, you. It uh, was not good. You have ruined one of the the greatest video game songs to ever grace uh, video games. Okay, if that didn't impress you, nothing I ever do will. Because I told you, Shania Twain. That That's track. What, uh, <laughs> that track was fired. Did you hear like the lyrics? I wrote that this morning. I yeah, have, I clearly you wrote that just this I morning. I have my notebook. <laughs> I can tell right here. I can tell of my lyrics. 
How and long does it take you to make these songs? Like hours. how much? <laughs> you ever you ever think of uh, writing uh, jingles for like I don't know like low budget car salesmen? Like, <laughs> you would you make it killing? Look you at, would make it killing. <laughs> Look, I was very proud of this one. She said, "If you pay me three bucks, your hydration is in luck." That's, that is a lyric. That's not. Yeah, but you know what's not a lyric? I was very, 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 very <laughs> thirsty. Yeah. Okay, that was a stretch. Uh, it was a little bit of a stretch. Um, you might want to get a ghostwriter. Uh, uh, that track will be available. <laughs> we'll, you should put them up. Put them up on iTunes. I'm going to put them out, man. Put them yeah. up on iTunes. As, as much, Drop them. As much as Aaron and I talk crap about your uh, song parodies, you are one step above Aaron in uh, actually making music. Oh, I do create c- content. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, do uh, I create content. You, you I got, definitely create content. So you gotta make an album art, an album cover. He could just make album art. I don't make album art. That's 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 my how wonder. underground you are. Yeah. If you do a full, if you do a full uh, album and put all your collections on there and do like the VGB thing, I'll do some 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 uh, special cover art for it. Okay. I That's can do that. I, I mean, I might. I have. I might have enough as a collection already. But uh, uh, was, what do you, you have, want? All, you want four all new tracks? Content? You want all new content? Or maybe five? Yeah, I have about five tracks. About five. Yeah. I I think that uh, if Cord does that, Aaron has to step up and and make a song. Why does? Why is that? Well, because you've been talking about dropping albums for the past like. No, I've dropped them. You just haven't okay. purchased them. That's all. That's true. Well, Spotify. there is uh, one other little special feature we want to do. Uh, we did this, I think, on episode 100. We opened up the VGB voicemail, and we had some of our good old friends and family and fans give a call in. Uh, we chose our favorites, and uh, <laughs> we're going to play them right now. Hey, guys. This is Jay with Capital Fight District. Uh, just wanted to say uh, I've known you guys for a couple years now, and it's been amazing watching a video game being grow into what it is today. So uh, good luck, and uh, keep having fun, guys. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I thought it was going to be over right there. So, so pepperoni, and do you want green peppers? or? Yeah. Can I get a large pizza with pepperoni and green peppers and some onions and a large Do you recognize yeah, the voice lemonade? Aaron? Lemonade's fine, and uh, can I get some is that breadsticks if you have them, and a side salad, because I'm watching my girlish figure. Is that Mia? That's Mia That's Khalifa. That sounds like Mia. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, shit. <laughs> For half a second, Domino? I thought she was actually on. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Domino? Are you there? <laughs> she has good taste in pizza, though. Domino's is the shit. Hello! What is up, Video Game Bang? This is Eddie, Eddie Van Weva, host of the film Lost First. Just Plug. want to congratulate you on 200 episodes. Plug. We'll edit that out in post. Dang, you guys are Tuesday's old. nights on TBS. Uh, but no, you guys you guys are an awesome podcast. I can't believe you guys are already at two, the 200 mark. And uh, you know what? I can't wait for the next 200 and uh, being a part of your guys' awesome network. So you know what? Here's to all them pizzas out there that support you and all the future pizzas. Get on it. Penis. Hey, guys. Good it's Lord. Elizabeth, Corey's wife. I just wanted to say how awesome it's been to watch you guys grow from two guys with microphones sitting on the floor to where you are today and being guests at conventions and doing panels, partnered with energy, you know, all that cool stuff. Um, anyway, I can't wait to see what happens in the next 200 episodes. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Bye. To the end. I love Hi, this is Fat Stogies from Los Angeles. I just want to say hello to the beautiful Ivy Doom Kitty. We love you. She's the cat's pajamas. Cat's <laughs> pajamas. Oh, wow. Daddy. Ooh. Daddy. 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 <laughs> I don't think I like this one. Daddy. Definitely <laughs> don't like this one. Daddy. Daddy. Is this Mia Khalifa? <laughs> this is not Mia Khalifa. Probably would have been better if it was. That's the awesome work, guys. New From ringtone. Daddy. Oh, I did the other parts out. Yeah, that's now my official VGB ringtone. <laughs> well, that's That'll be what we get when we get subs now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone who called in. Uh, it means a lot to the VGB to get some love like that. Uh, we do have that voicemail open all the time, so uh, we can throw that phone number in chat. We'll throw it more on Twitter periodically, where if you guys have comments, questions, concerns, 
opinions, you want to tell me how much of a shithead I am for uh, stealing Gatorades, you can do so on the VGB voicemail. Uh, check our Twitter timeline. Uh, I think it's 317-399-BANG. Is that right? Did I memorize it? Three three 317-699-BANG. 699-BANG. Can we confirm? <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll confirm that in a we'll minute. We'll confirm it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we, we, we really appreciate We like to hear from you guys. Maybe a new segment. Aaron, you've been wanting to do that at, at, for a while anyways, right? Yeah, I've always yeah. wanted to have... Um, the phone calls in there that's because it just literally mimics one of the old podcasts i used to listen to they used to do phone calls in in the beginning of their show um and i called them once and hearing my voice on there was pretty awesome and i think it's uh awesome for the fans to hear themselves on the podcast yeah hey, hey guys long time listener first time caller actually they were talking crap about gamestop and i was a new employee to gamestop at the time oh, don't tell me you like, defended it fresh wait, wait fresh is it bad guys freshman were you still feeling like uh, the pride really? it was hey. it was like the it was like the well guys it's not that bad i work yeah there. it was one of those <laughs> yeah it has its flaws uh, again, i imagine that's how you talk when you were a rookie yeah it basically was that's like a white guy going through puberty <laughs> then i and then i was just like love the show guys keep doing what you're doing and and then six months later, you said you guys were absolutely right about everything. Literally three days later, get me oh, out of it this. Was three days. Get later. me out of this hellhole. Yeah, uh, Ivy, you know you uh, you're no stranger to podcast. You're you, the cat's you, pajamas. You, you're the, oh, you are the cat's pajamas. <laughs> you had a podcast before, and then now you're with the VGB. Uh, what do, what do you think? I mean, you joined us at at, at the 200 episode. No, you joined us a while ago, but you know you're with us now for the 200 episode mark. Uh, just take us reflect on your time with VGB so far. Cool. I like it. Yeah, yeah. that was my wait, favorite. Wait, wait, she's gonna have to unmute her microphone. That's my oh, favorite okay. time too, Ivy. Yeah. Whoops. Man, Cats there pajamas. Cats pajamas. I mean, what can you expect? You know, there's love. There's theft. <laughs> just there's a little booze. bit. Uh, lots of booze. You know, there's there's all sorts of things like this podcast is filled with debauchery and God knows what else because <laughs> That's of about boring it, just debauchery. You know, now Aaron and Webb, you guys are awesome. Wow, thank you, thank you, Ivy. It has been super, super great. Corey, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's all right. Know. It's all right. That that's that's what I, 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 I think I'm gonna send you a case of Gatorade to your house as charity. <laughs> I mean, he's got Actually, it in. Actually, he's got it in. Uh, <laughs> Hold that thought, Ivy. Yeah. But but seriously though, no, it's it's been great. It's been great. I've absolutely loved being a part of VGB. Uh, it's been some pretty freaking awesome. Being <laughs> you got the Gatorade uh, mother. <laughs> that was a Goes birthday present. with the shirt. Thank you. Oh man. Um, no, seriously though, it, it's been great. You guys have been a phenomenal group of people that I've been able to work with, uh, you know, not just work, but also hang out with, you know, and I'm happy to call you guys friends, uh, even though, you know, one of you is very flawed. Um, wow. But <laughs> that's, that's the thing that I love you guys, you know, we've been able to do so much and, uh, God, not that much time, you know, I just grow in leaps and bounds. And I, I always remember seeing you guys at Wizard World Sacramento, what, two years back? Three years? Two or three years ago. It was the very when first you... Wizard World Sacramento, yeah. 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 And when you guys pictures. did the interview uh, with me, you know, and since then it's just been, it's been awesome. So thank you yeah. for making me a part of the VGB family. Aaron, 200 episodes, what do you think? Um, can't wait for a thousand. You think we're going to hit a thousand? Oh, yeah, heck yeah. Well, like, remember I told you this. What what episode was it? I don't know, 17 ago or something like that, where I was like, when the the second generation VGB, you know, they're all, it's, we're all, you know, on to something. The next generation. Yeah, yeah. We're all on to oh, the, yeah. the higher echelons of, of VGB. And then the show is conducted by the new crew. Like, oh, we got a whole new cast. <laughs> and then it's just all these new younger people doing the show. And then the we'll make cameos from, you know, like, and they come back and ask us questions like, what was it like to start this? Like, you know, like 50 years ago. And we're well, like, oh, well, we didn't have holograms. We didn't have the uh, the PlayStation computers. 9 where you put the spores in your eye and, it, you know, 
takes y'all to trippy, you know, new worlds. In my day, like our consoles plugged into a TV and we we're happy about exactly. it. Exactly. So, uh, you know, that's that's actually that's really what I'm waiting for. That that type of uh, you know torch passing, I would say, but not so much as it's like we're done with it because I don't think we'll ever be done with it. But uh, to see how it evolves. I think we screwed ourselves over when we uh, when we started the weekend bang and decided to do a whole separate numbering system. Uh, oh yeah, it's super confusing. It's, it's confusing. It is definitely. confusing as hell because like we're having our 200th episode, but in like a week or two we're gonna have our hundredth episode for the weekend show. Gaming since gaming, in oh, fact, crap. was trying to archive some of the episodes onto his show, uh, onto his YouTube channel, and he messaged me. He's like. What the hell kind of numbering system do you guys have? I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing 178, and then I'm seeing 88. Like, which, what's, which one's which? You, almost, you do the math. You do the math. I think the numbering system is more for us at this point because I wonder how many people actually go when they download it and say like, "Oh, number so and so." Like, I know when I listen to other podcasts, I do. I start at episode one, and I just go from there. God, I hope people don't do that for us. Yeah, do that. No, just start on start this episode. From the, start no. from the beginning. That, for, those episodes are so cringy. You know just what? Start on I have a ninety nine point five. Here's what's cringy. <laughs> here's what's cringy to find out that one of your coworkers likes to listen to your voice as they go to sleep. That's why what? they listen Wait, to the what? old. That's why they listen to the old podcasts. Segway. Uh, yeah, is exactly. This the one that you is talk this? about? No, 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 no. This is a dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Shout out to Remy, everybody. <laughs> Naming hey, him right here on the podcast. The oh, he's in the chat. Yeah. Is he in the chat? No. No, I was going to say. Well, maybe. I don't know. He could be lurking. I don't know. Yeah, he probably is. He's, probably, know. he's probably trying to go to sleep right now. But Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's all right, Remy. You can go to sleep now. Uh, Webb, what do you see for the uh, the future? For for the VGB future? Yeah, Aaron took all the good answers. Well, I mean, um, that's just how I do. I think that would be, be a very cool thing to see us be able to grow... To the point to where we have like, like kind of like Smosh. They have like those different like they have like Smosh games and Smosh, whatever else. Yeah, but yeah, you 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 see what I'm saying? We have like different casts for different then, shows. Are is me one of me and Corey gonna make that video? Why I left VGB? Oh, <laughs> did you guys see that too? <laughs> yeah, I watched that too. That was pretty sad to see Smosh break up after yeah. all this time. But are they breaking up? It seems like that one dude went on his own. They were on a break. He cut his e- emo haircut, and then he like, uh, you know, decided that the, that the smosh wasn't creative but, but enough for him. Or he, is that what he said? Because I didn't watch the whole thing. Oh, That's yeah, always what it is. It's always yeah. creative. Yeah, he said he was. They were limiting his creativity. And oh it was, my it was, god! It was too corporate to where everything had to be approved through so many channels. He couldn't oh, just do his own thing. Man. Now he's gonna be. He's gonna be indie. But under under the Smosh title, it's gonna be nobody's going to If you probably. have more than a million dollars, you are not indie anymore. I don't care what you say. That's what I'm saying. It's like those indie studios that say they're indie, but really it's like a subdivision of Ubisoft. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, it's it's Yeah, because I, I saw his thing, and I thought at first it was just he was like, I'm quitting YouTube. That's what I'm That's what I was thinking. It's yeah. like not I'm not just leaving Smosh. It's just like, you know, I fulfilled what I needed to fulfill in my life. I want to move on to, you know, painting or something. <laughs> but um I don't know. I mean, you you get those 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 big YouTube uh things that are like we have creative differences and we want to do our way uh, you know, separate ways and stuff like that. And that's um like what's his name? Freddie Wong and his guy. Oh, Brandon Latchkey. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's cool. But I feel like we, you know, the three of us, the four of us, the seven of us, how many are all a part of the VGB at the time, we get to a certain level where we're like just astronomical. There should be no creative differences that couldn't fall under that umbrella. Yeah. We like literally. Corey just... wants to go off and he like uh, he's like, you know what, guys, I really feel like doing a whole bunch of just, you know. Podcasts uh, on pizza. You, right. Right. Okay, right, we, so we have you have an, you have a freaking umbrella yeah, to do so that. So we have under. a pizza podcast. You have a VG, yeah. By I want to go Studios. and do a whole bunch of uh, you know just uh, random uh, video game themed songs or something like that. Well, you have a freaking umbrella. Like, how is that? Yeah. How is there red I tape towards like? No, that's not what we're about. That's dude. why I, I never think whenever they say it's creative differences, I'm like, ah, that's what the lawyers decided yeah. would be a good you two way to verdict. just really hate each other, don't you? <laughs> that's what it feels like. Like it's, it's it's cool. I mean, say hey, I couldn't stand him anymore. He was, you know, Heavy Doom Kitty. Just subscribe <laughs> to the. 
Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Now you finally have the emotes. Uh, I, I appreciate that. Actually, come to think of that, uh, we do have a couple new emotes pending that we hope make the cut. We really wanted them to be a part of the episode 200 because we think that they are uh, – pretty big representation of what the show is about but uh i guess you're gonna have to wait till next week if they get approved if uh, yes if they get approved they're a little uh a little maybe controversial a little racy in, a little, yeah a little racy in some circles mm. a little risque so we will uh we, we will keep you guys up to date on that one uh aaron has there ever been a time where you were about to quit podcasting early on maybe not quit no there was uh there were times when I got jaded with it. Um, like, okay, all right. And it's literally it's probably just because it was all a lot of slow no, uh, news weeks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where it's like there's nothing going on in the video game world right now to talk about. And I, I kind of don't really like harping on the same thing a lot, uh, especially with the industry that's always changing. There's so much in the industry and stuff like that. Um. But then I, I found a way to in, reinvigorate myself. Um, I started listening to actually, because in the first uh, maybe year or, or so, I didn't listen to other podcasts. It Ooh, was, yeah, it was just ours. Yeah. So when I started listening to other podcasts, um, it got me back into the like, oh, yeah, I want to really, you know, I want to be uh, in the podcasting stuff. And like Jesus and Marrow is one of the big ones that got me really back into podcasting uh, to like really like wanting to go back into the studio and be like oh let's do some more um who's another one uh the the lore oh yeah yeah lore. he's another one even though his stuff got boring real fast um no shot to him you, you know yeah. <laughs> just 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 Damn. for me yeah i know because that would we sound like a, we don't need another <laughs> podcast beef <laughs> yeah that's, nah. that's what it'll sound like but no nah, it's just i don't know he got boring but yeah, I think you, you're looking outside for a little bit. That's probably what helped me out. I think that's true for pretty much any creative medium. You know, you you look at what others are doing in the same genre, or not even genre, but just the same art form, and it kind of helps you get that creative juice flowing again. Yeah, I remember the early days. Uh, I think about it. I've been thinking about it a lot recently, prepping for episode two hundred. Is uh, and I know for a fact this is why most podcasts stop, but. I just remember putting out shows and only having like 10 listeners. Like there was a long stretch where like nobody, it feels like you're talking into a vacuum. Nobody replies to anything you put on Twitter. You have this idea of like, Oh, let's do this game giveaway thing on Twitter. And then, you know, nothing happens and you're like, Oh shit, that kind of sucked. And then it all started with uh hollow monkey and Mr. Howard one, two, three where we put something out on Twitter and someone actually responded. And we were like, wait, do you know this person, Aaron? Oh, no. The you, first. Uh, you don't know this guy? No knows. Does anybody know <laughs> this guy? Like Everyone who comes over, you're like, hey, uh, Hello Monkey, is that a friend of yours? No. He's like the first outsider who listens to the show and felt compelled to like message us. And then, you know, one turned into two, turned into six, and then we've had tons. And now... We move, I think the best thing we did was move to Twitch because that gave us more of that direct interaction with people. Even though it's a pretty small percentage of the podcast listeners who actually turn up week in, week out in the Twitch. Uh, so if you listen to the show, highly recommend you come out to the Twitch. It's like its own new community of people who just interact and talk. Like, But this is the dialogue that we get that we were missing on the early stages. Like We really didn't know you know, sense of right and wrong, good or bad what we were doing and uh so you know we went from tens to dozens to hundreds and now we actually get thousands of listeners which is like just blows my mind i I, i'm so grateful for everybody we have who who checks out the show grateful for ivy doom kitty who also brought a huge spike because of uh, her fans even though even though they don't like me too much uh you know they like the rest of you guys enough to to listen each week so you know thank them even even those people jeez and you wonder people. why. <laughs> 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 Thanks, those people. Um, well, you know, it wouldn't be the show if we didn't uh, bring back some of the classics. So uh, how about we do this? Brain, bang, brain, brain, brain. Classic. Brain, bang, brain. I don't know. You brain, bang, brain, brain. If you have to bring something back, you're going to have to have fun with it. Yeah. Winter, then we Pretty much. Brain. And because it's episode 200. 
Really? We're going to do Oh, the song was the classic. Uh, I gotcha. Okay. I was looking up some different words that spell our uh, our phone number. Lay it on me. Uh, there's 31 pow, nine bang. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. 31 pow, nine bang. <laughs> nine bang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. The rest don't make any sense. Oh, you, man. I'm going to type on chat. You can go, uh, bang, bang. call us at 317 my you nine bang. Us on Twitter, <laughs> Different. Aaron, you're interrupting you the song. I was supposed to. Chat is chat is very upset right, right now. Actually, they they love. Chat likes this song. Though. We wanna know what's on your, your mind. <laughs> brain, brain. <laughs> we do our best to never what ask likes the it. same I thing. Know. Aaron, you're gonna come around to something you I do. Mm. Like I can't believe you didn't like the one I made today. Like that was brilliant. Did. No, I've How told you that there's uh, the the music video that you did was good. Music yeah, video. Sheldon knows what's up. The, he um, it's a guilty oh yeah, I did a music video, the cosplay one. Yeah, the no- Oh yeah, that's right. I told you about that. Okay. I will give you this. You are getting better the more you do. They do take a lot of effort. That's the reason I don't do more. Turkey burgers. What? On the game bag. Shark nipple. He's back. He's back. Uh, this one I want to know uh, everyone at the table, of course, as always. But I want chat uh, in Facebook and in Twitter to give their honest opinions on this one. And Ivy, pay attention so you could give us like the best of the best responses. But here we go. Uh, this last Sunday marked the return of the Rick and Morty cartoon. But it also marked... Uh, you know, episode three of Game of Thrones. So I wanted no to know. No spoilers. No spoilers. But I wanted to know from everybody. I have not seen Rick and Morty yet. Okay. Well, I don't watch that crap. They all either. die. They all died. The, they always all die. The question was, if you could only watch one forever, what would you choose? Oh, man, that's difficult. Rick and Morty or Game of Thrones. And it seems <sighs> like this Rick and Morty thing came out of nowhere. I'm going to be honest. I've seen two episodes and I'm not impressed thus far. You it's watched, so Like good. from the beginning? Yeah. Okay. First episode was okay. And there's funny parts, but I just don't see this huge appeal that everyone's so obsessed with it. Everybody knows the inside jokes. Everybody wants to go find this uh, Rick Mobile. Everybody's obsessed with this damn show. At my birthday party, everybody there was just making Rick and Morty jokes. I felt like a, 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 I felt like a jerk because I didn't know anything. So I watched a couple episodes, and I just don't get it. Let's so get riggedy, riggedy Rex, son. I don't get it. It's Ivy's like sub thing too. So get I watched. I, I watched Ivy's stream, and I just keep hearing like these catchphrases. I just don't get them. This is where I'm getting old and crotchety. So I definitely chose Game of Thrones. David, what do you choose? If you're old and crotchety, uh, you should probably shower. I'm gonna say Game of Thrones. I love Rick and Morty, but I like I like Game of Thrones just a little bit better. That's interesting. I feel more like an adult when I watch Game of Thrones. Like, well, because there's like wow. porn in there. Because <laughs> it's porn. I don't, I don't and, know what you're talking and about. And violence. It's irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> Rick and Morty. I feel like more of an adult when I watch <laughs> porn as opposed to Nickelodeon. Rick and Morty is uh, it's fun to just like shut your mind off and just watch. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Ivy, what do you think? Personally, I know you're not caught up. No spoilers. But, I mean, if you can only choose one to watch for the rest of your life. The other one would get canceled immediately. Interesting caveat, oh, though. Oh, man. <clears throat> I mean, there's only, like, one more season of Game of Thrones left. True. But it would never end. But you'd never get saying. that satisfaction of knowing the ending. There's some shows I've never watched the ending to because I don't want them to end. I That's absolutely love Game of Thrones. Thing. <laughs> um, In my mind, they've never ended. I love Rick and Morty, too. I absolutely love Rick and Morty. But if I had to choose and weigh the two out, I think Game of Thrones would win out on that because... You got dragons. You got a battle for the Iron Throne. You got porn. You have dragons. There's boobs. You got everything in I think Game it's, of Thrones. I think it's more consistently well done than Rick and Morty. Like there's, a, Rick, there's episodes of Rick and Morty. It's a freaking drama. It's a freaking yeah. soap opera. Sort but of. there's, I mean, like if you just look at the show as a show like there's more like there's episodes of Rick and Morty that are really good and then there's ones that are like eh that was okay what do you think Aaron 
Uh, well, here's the shocker, of course. I mean, you know. Uh, Rick and Morty, people. Really? Hands I saw down. That. Do you not like GOT? No. Love Game of Thrones. But here's the thing. It's a story that progresses from beginning to end. So once I'm done watching that, that's it. I'm done. That's just how I am with stories. Wait a second. I found a loophole. So when they're done telling the story and they've killed everybody they're going to kill, that's it. You're going to watch that again. You're going to get the DVDs. You're going to get the Blu-rays, blah, blah, blah. I can't watch that out of order because it still doesn't make any sense if you put it out of order. It's true. So with Rick and Morty, that's one of those just comedy shows. You can watch episode one, season two. You can watch episode three, season four or whatever. You can watch, you know, whatever in any order. There is no actual progressive line j- of story just yet, I guess. They'll yeah, probably they'll, bit. they'll probably make one eventually. And, yeah, there's, like, reoccurring characters and stuff like that, but not enough so deep that you need to know, you, yeah. know, you know, the whole thing. So I, I, I hands down go Rick and Morty. And then, I don't know, like, it, it's like you said, there's a lot of catchphrases, there's a lot of inside jokes. Um, and the randomness is definitely what just keeps me going back like to where it. they're gonna go. Yeah, where they're gonna do next. Mm. and that means we're going to the chat to see what they think. <laughs> is that what that means? <laughs> that's exactly what that means. How uh, do you not know what that's what that means? I don't know. I usually, when I do it on the weekend, bang, it's uh oh, it's a different sound. Oh, okay, it is a different sound. It's a way actually. different sound. It's true. Yeah, I made this one. Watch. Okay. And uh, couch. Surfer Canuck says thrones very emphatically. Um, what, what else was chat saying, Ivy? <laughs> uh, they're wanting to know Stark or Targaryen. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Man, hold on. Was that just another brain bang question? Maybe. Oh my god, I thought of a loophole for the for if this you had to though. choose which house you would be in, would you be in House Stark or House Targaryen? Uh, definitely how stark, less inbredness. Aaron? Um. There's no I mean, inbreeding in Targaryen, fool. Yeah, That's there true. is. There is? That's yeah. all inbreeding. They're all inbred. That's how they keep that hair. Oh. They talk about that, that most of that family is inbred. That's true. No way. Yeah. The majority, yeah, the majority but, of the family is. But, but you get fucking dragons. It doesn't matter. I get yeah, Targaryen but, all the way. And, and. All right. I and am the Cat Lisi, though. I am the mother of cats. Cat Lisi? Yes. <laughs> That's terrible. The one and only. I if have a house cat. That title is mine. Cat if you're a house Lisi. Stark, you have a 99% chance of not making it through. Not if you, you stay in the north. north. I was going to say. Not if you stay yeah, in the north. north. Don't and your north. wolves die. And, I mean, Starks, they're still, most of them are alive, actually. What? They're like getting back together now. Bran is Bran kicking around. Uh, so can't Arya walk. Is Arya. Still around. Arya is going to die, people. Uh, uh, and uh, John Snow died right, once, and uh, he's not a Stark. Yeah, well, he's he even said kind of that. Of... He's even said it himself. He, he, he doesn't know. Said it himself. He doesn't know, he doesn't know things that the audience doesn't knows. matter. Okay, so even if he doesn't guys, know, he still guys, does not consider play. himself. Spoilers be, be this is spoiler. Be wary of no, that's not a spoiler. There's nothing from this. No, no, that's not a spoiler though. Yeah. And that's if you're just, not caught up on this season, I'm sorry. We've said stuff about this in the that's past. That's not a spoiler. That's just something he said in the show. I'm just saying that. Right. He said Wait. it from season one, episode one. But what I'm talking about, if they're not caught no, up no, in the No, no, yeah, I know season, that. I know that. I know what you're talking about. But I'm just saying what the character has said from the beginning of the of the whole series, he's I'm not a Stark. His name is Jon Snow, people. Snow. Well, that's just what he they knows call bastards. Yeah, yeah, he knows he's a bastard, bastard and, he's, and he keeps going. He's, you know, He says he's not a Stark. So okay. that's just. Um, so definitely Stark on my side. Ivy wants to be an inbred Targaryen with dragons. Uh, hey, web. dragons! That's all I need. What did you We're say? Good. Are we Stark? You get as well? dire yeah. wolves. I, I guess Stark. Dragons. I, mean, I, I was all tar- Targaryen until you made me realize that they were they're inbred totally jids. inbred. They yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, it wasn't just snap. the one brother. That's why the one brother was so into his sister because he was like, "Yeah, it's just what we do." Yeah, I guess Stark. Uh, um, Aaron, did you? Oh, I mean, I, I was definitely. It wouldn't be freaking Targaryen. That's disgusting. Besides the big two, though, I think Aaron would probably belong to. What house would Aaron belong to? I think he'd be a. He'd probably. I don't think there's any house in there that fits yeah. my. Uh, yeah, no, there definitely no, there is. is. No, there isn't. There's one for everybody. It's like a Harry Potter sword <laughs> hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. 
Aaron's a total. Uh, he's a Lannister. No. No. Yeah, he's no. so pompous. No. <laughs> Where would you be then? No. What house would you look? Because I don't see myself in any of these houses. They're all too. Aaron would be a wildling. So so. <laughs> the <laughs> French society. The, <laughs> Tell me what he wants. the Lannisters are too. Uh, Someone says Frey. <laughs> rigid. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the Frey? Let us er, let I us know what house fray. you think Aaron would be. Who was the house, fr- house, house Frey? Frey? Yeah, Walder Frey, the one who like had all those his daughters. He's oh no! Nah. Orchestrated <laughs> the red <laughs> wedding. Nah. nah, they were some treacherous dogs. Um. Yeah. No. I, like I said, I can't think of any. The, the house are. House Bolton? No. no I, 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 I wouldn't Bolton. wish Damn. that upon my worst enemy. Who is the, the house on the on the river? You don't hear uh, too much about the Baratheons, Caitlin. do you? I would definitely be a Baratheon, I think. Yeah. I could see you being a Baratheon. I would definitely be a son of, of Robert Baratheon. <laughs> Why do you think that? Toast your uh, house. What he house loves to you? drink. He loves to party. He had a beard. He had a beard. Uh, got killed by a pig? Totally. Thank you. No, he got poisoned and then killed by a pig. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'd totally be a Baratheon. What about Tully? How's Tully for Aaron? Uh, They're like loyal. Oh, that's the one where she breastfeeds her kid. Who is it? No, 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 no. That's the that's the um. Th- that was Caitlyn's sister, Caitlyn Stark's sister. You're yeah, thinking of the f- the the fat guy that's at the uh, Tarly. Tarly. That's Tarly. Yeah. Oh, Sam. His. No, family? no, 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 not Tarly. I'm thinking of Tully, but he. None of the houses, she, people. Let's face it. She was in like the um. Fuck, what's it called? Chat knows. Chat knows. <laughs> Chat knows everything. Chat knows everything. Everyone that breastfeeds is House Aaron. Yeah, because they have like the whole castle in the sky looking thing. And there's also Blackfish. The River Lords. Yeah, like Blackfish. Like the River Lords. Not wow. breastfeeding so until you So Aaron would be a Blackfish. That's what you're saying? No. Racism. You, you really want to go there? You want to go there, Webb? Damn it, Ivy. What? Maybe we'll walk right into that one. There's uh, a... <laughs> Squiggle says Webb. Aaron is House Jesus, MD. Now we know. House MD. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Took a second, but I get it now. Oh, uh, man. I think I saw a uh, shark nipple in chat, too. Yeah, the turkey. Bale. He, the veil. No, I wouldn't be over there. No, that's uh, what I'm saying. That's yeah. the that's the lady who breastfeeds her her 20-year-old son. Yeah, and tosses people into yeah, the... Yeah, not them. Aaron would probably be from Dorne. Uh, uh, no, because they take the biggest ales throughout the so, whole series. So <laughs> is house mormon yeah but they're kind of that mormon chicks are hot what are the mormons uh that's oh, the yeah. guy who's in love with kalishi oh, i can see that jorah jorah yeah yeah and david go. says that Corey is house broken yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow that's horrible no I, i'm done with that I'll no, be that's, that's horrible <laughs> i'll be house broken all get, day you guys to be the furthest in the wonderful north. furthest in the north they, can they don't do too much of the mormons so back to uh, Rick and Morty. Yes, that's versus the show Game you of go. Thrones. Morty. I don't know. Wait, what was your loophole? Oh, my loophole. Yeah, is uh, okay. I I pick Rick and Morty, and then I just read the Game of Thrones books. Hmm. I ah, find out what happens. I get a conclusion to the story. I, I but could, then I, I get could both. Do that. I can I can switch over and do that. Yeah, but you don't get the uh, the acting of Peter Dinklage. <laughs> what? Fetch me my wine. Yeah. See. <laughs> How's Tyrell? Um, so, I mean, I wish we could talk about it. That's what we need to do. Our next podcast will just be all spoilers, Game of Thrones. It'll be called, uh, Bang of Thrones. Those, Ooh. okay, so th- those, like those that. podcasts are the ones that are kind of weird to me. The ones that focus on literally just, just one. one. Yeah. So I'm like, you, you can see the ending coming at you guys. <laughs> like, you really don't go for longevity, do you? Yeah. I do like, I do kind of like the ones that take old shows like, hey, welcome to the Cheers podcast. We're starting at <laughs> episode one. So what was Morty thinking? Like, it's <laughs> it's weird because it's like, okay, you picked an old TV show or an old movie and you're going through them one by one and you're like analyzing them yeah. or something like that. That's that's crazy. Yeah, we should do shit like that. Good idea. <laughs> cheers. <Yeah. laughs> it's going to start with Cheers. Where everybody Yeah, no, that would require us to watch Cheers and... Oh. I'm not down for that. I, we got some support for Bang of Thrones. <laughs> I, I, yeah. We might have to do this. I'm down for some Bang of Thrones. And oh uh, my god! So, so do you guys? Uh, uh, I'm just curious. Uh, any of the ladies in chat? So okay, hold on. So Ivy, Aaron says that there are no women on the internet. Exactly. 
What do you, What do you guys think of uh, Littlefinger? Gross. Oh, he's a what? Scumbag. I thought we were a G. You know what? I thought we oh. were a rated PG show. What are you talking about? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I know you. You have a thing for him, don't you? I do. Why? What? I I think Littlefinger is very attractive. Dude's gonna slip you a, a Mickey with his little finger. <laughs> he he had the best. Uh, not him, but uh, what's like, her name? Okay. The chick that he's into. Uh, uh, Sansa. 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 When Sandra. when she when Look, she see, shut Courtney him down. Look, see, Corgi cosplay thinks Littlefinger is hot. Who? Corgi, Corgi cosplay. cosplay and Chad oh. thinks Littlefinger well, is hot. I, mean, I am well, not I mean, alone. There's weird the, ones everywhere. Yeah, when Sansa shut him down, when she when she hit him with that line of... Um, oh, wait, is this from the current episode? Well, all she said was... Um, she said <laughs> something... No spoilers! She said something to the effect of, you know, you don't have to keep talking. I'm pretty sure what you were going to say was clever. And he just kind of... Uh, he kind of just shut up yeah. and backed out. I was like, damn! damn that is damn, like a... son, where'd you a, find that? That's a 2017 <laughs> burn, and I felt it in the future. That's what that <laughs> is. That is exactly what that you is. You know, he had a monologue from this most recent episode too that I thought was pretty badass. He did, yeah. He, he so, the, but I feel like he. I, I feel like I could relate a hundred percent to his monologue from this episode I, of. And well, we can't it's talk not a, about it's that not a spo- off air. I don't think it's, it's a spoiler. Not a spoiler. It's not like saying Still, anything about don't, the plot. Don't, don't, don't. Come on. I no. think I think he feels like. No. I mean, I feel like he's the only character in the whole show that's uh, that's shady, but the easiest to to shut down. Like I, I swear, like uh, everybody well, else had little spies everywhere and stuff like I that. I wouldn't shut him down. I'd be like, okay. He just had a whorehouse. What the heck? I know he had, the man <laughs> owned a whorehouse, Ivy. What is what is it about and him? He's not he's gross. What is it about him that makes you like want to like And didn't Bane kill him in Batman? <laughs> 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 Let's get to the real Let's bottom. Let's get to the real stuff the here. The real issues here. The man's dead. Yeah. Oh man. I killed him. I lost my Bane impression. That's horrible. I killed him. It's the bad boy. He's not even a bad boy. He's and like, yeah, he's, there's, there's a no, bad boy. Who's Cal, the, who's Cal the, Drago was the bad yeah, boy. Yeah, exactly. Who's the snitch on Recess? That's who he is. <laughs> oh, that's who Littlefinger is. Like yeah. Some... That's exactly who Littlefinger That's yeah. what I get from Littlefinger. The snitch on Recess. He is a little snitch, huh? You know what? No, I feel like he's like the one, like, he's the quiet one in the back of the class that ends up, like, going postal. No, no. He, he's going to be like, he's kind of no. conniving. He's sitting there and he's taking notes. He's making a list of everybody who's done shit to him. He's a sneaky little He is a pedophile as well. He is a pedophile. Super pedophile Yeah, he's definitely not the bad boy, Ivy. I, I don't, I really like confounded. Randall, him. thank I you. Randall! Attractive. Thanks, Mike. Who, yes. What, what other people do you find attractive then? Like, is he the norm? Is this what, when you're is looking. Is he the for, bar? I know. Is this what. You know, people should be attaining to if they want to get. I with find him kidding. attractive. I okay. This one's a. I don't know. You guys might be like weirded out. Snape. Oh yeah, Alan, that's what? super weird. Yeah, with the bull haircut. Yeah, she had a, Alan Rickman as Snape. Alan you Rickman like Rickman, you Rickman, like the Oscar, I'm a wizard. You like the weirdos. I'm what a you wizard. Like. I will come back to my palace. <laughs> what is that? Is that, is that, <laughs> is that no, Snape? That was, or is that, that freaking Gollum from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's different. That's the process. Jeez. The process. They're one of the this same. This is my uh, Alan Rickman. Yeah, so. Oh, well, and it's that, also, uh, that, one, that one is actually better. And it's also my Shaggy. Creepy and stalker like guys. A lot of us want to bundle. What's his name? Uh, Fastbender. Michael Fastbender? So you like Magneto? Yeah. Hmm. So you just like the guys that play the characters that you like. You like Snape, so you like Alan Rickman. I have a yeah, <laughs> basically. You like, it you like, like yeah. you like Magneto, so you like Fastbender. You're a wizard, I have a... <laughs> <laughs> Is that Dobie? Yes and no. I mean, because the whole thing with Baelish, with Littlefinger, um, like, I don't particularly, like, care for his character in terms of because he is a douche, he's an asshole. But him physically, I'm attracted to him. What? He's like the weakest little dude on the thing. He's like, literally called Little. No, Finger. I know. I I could totally destroy him. <laughs> Yikes! This got real, really I mean, quick. Bane, everybody. <laughs> Bane did so. That's horrible. 
That was the best use of that soundboard. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! It feels like it's been weeks since the gods have blessed us, and they have given us a bountiful fruit of what you're playing. That was the what you're playing theme song. Aaron, have you been playing video games even? Uh, yeah, I played uh, Rick and Morty's. Uh, oh yeah, Pocket Morty's. Pocket Morty's. What yeah. is what is that? It's like Pokemans. Pokemon Go. But you're no. playing with a whole bunch of different poke. I mean, uh, Morty's. So it's you, like Pokemon on the Game Boy yeah. with a Rick and Morty skin. Is Morty the kid or the scientist? I can't remember. Morty is the kid. There's an infinite amount of Mortys and an infinite amount of Ricks. But the Ricks and their uh, hubris made this thing called the Council of Ricks. So it's like a... Council. Like a big citadel full of nothing but the infinite amount of ricks that there are in the you know universe okay uh and then they have of course the council of ricks where their hairs are like different and everything like that so anyway you play uh the main rick rick i don't know yeah but they're all rick sanchez but he's he's like rick Rick from three from earth from earth c9317 or something like that yeah yeah and you guys know this shit because we watch the show um, and actually, they said it one time. I'm Morty from Earth C nine one three seven. Every so yeah, he, he people know that's the Rick. Okay, like, that's the number one Rick or whatever. So but anyway, he, so you play him and you're with Morty, your regular Morty, your grandson, and you go around to different uh, universes collecting different Mortys. Like there's, um, I have like a, I have a Judge Morty, a Karate Morty, a Scruffy Morty. And so they this all have is a different, game. Yeah, yeah, this is a game. game. You on can the, get on your phone. Is it on your phone? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a mobile phone. phone. Oh, is, I'm getting this interface? right now. Uh, it's the interface is just like uh, Game Boy Advance or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's not. You, it's. I mean, you go through. You catch different Mortys. There's different kinds of Mortys. So, like, like you know how Pokemon had water, fire, grass. It's basically just rock paper. Is, scissors. Is it rock paper pocket scissors. Mortys. Pocket, pocket Mortys. Mortys. Yes, five million downloaded. It's actually pocket pocket Morty. It's pretty. It's you, done pretty well. You for, train them. You battle other trainer, other Ricks, and other aliens that collect oh Mortys. God. Yep. And then the and then like in Pokemon they had gym leaders. Yep. Here you go and you battle the Rick of the dimension that you're in. Yeah. To earn badges to then battle the Council of Ricks, which is like the elite four. Yes. Oh my God. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, I, I don't even watch the damn show, and I'm downloading it right it's now. It's fun. Is how cool that it's sounds. pretty. Yeah, it's addicting. pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. This so, crafting. Yes, yeah, crafting. <laughs> yeah. Which Pokemon does it have? It's weird how they. Uh, this is true. Oh, oh, sorry. Never mind. Go ahead. No, what? It's it's weird how they made this thing kind of from this universe um, that had kind of nothing to do with. Um, Pokemon, but they yeah. they found a way to. But it's a it's a good uh, it's super, game. I played it for hours. It's a good game. I say weekend. try it out. Huh. All right, uh, Web. What you playing? PUBG. Really? Yeah. All right. I'm horrible at it, but it's really fun. I was playing it uh, while I was on Discord with Aaron and Steven, and I think Katie was on it. Mm-hmm. And they were all talking, and I heard like gunfire, and I was like, guys, guys, shut up, shut up. Okay, we're fine. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Um, there's some crazy things that happens in that happens in that game. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, so August 11th, uh, Energy Esports is gonna do a PUBG night, and they're gonna get like all of our biggest players from across all of our different titles to get on a private server with fans and stuff like that and play in uh, some matches for a few hours. That's cool. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to this. I think it's a great idea i think it's going to be a lot of fun to see these other pro players in this kind of level playing field yeah to see the csgo guys against the overwatch guys oh yeah the smite guys so it's gonna be a lot of fun i i, I don't know whether i'm going to be playing in it yet i'm not sure if i'm playing or i'm going to be like running cameras for the uh for another stream but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh but you're liking it i like it did What's you play solo or did you play as a team i've just been solo i okay. have uh I'm, the highest I made it to was um, 22. Oh, shit. That's pretty high. Is it? Yeah. I don't know how. I mean, like, I see people posting, like, you know, they've ranked, like, top 10 or whatever like that. So I don't know how high, uh, how good 22 is. Ivy, what you been playing? Ooh, uh, I played Overwatch. Tried out Doomfist. He's pretty cool. How'd you like the Doomfister? I liked him, actually. Although, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I freaking button mash like a mother when I play as Doomfist. It's not good in that regard. 
He's uh he's pretty damn broken. He can I'm like, like ah, push all the buttons. He can right, one shot work. like eighteen of the twenty four characters from what I heard. Or some ridiculous astronomical number with his what? His, with his right click he could one shot a lot of characters, meaning he could just hit them one time and they explode. They die. Mm. He's gonna get some serious nerfs. I'm kind of dreading him being in comp. Um I'm not looking forward to that. Aaron, have you gotten to play as Doomfist yet? I or? have not, actually. Ooh. Yeah. I, 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 I did also play uh, Pokemon Go because they have that event going on right now. What's the event? Uh, the event's the... Um, they're doing all of the legendaries. So, um, what, are, what are the names? La, Lacuna? La oh, something. Moltres, Zapdos, and yeah. uh, Articuno. Yeah, there we go. It's those three. So, right now... Uh, they just did. They finished one on Sunday, and now they're on the second legendary one. So when you go to certain gyms, you'll get like this weird emblem that'll pop up above the one of the gyms, and that is your opportunity to catch like really strong Pokemon or more rare Pokemon. And then there's a certain one a pop up that'll show up that's for legendary Pokemon, and you can go there and as a team battle to try to capture that legendary Pokemon. Oh, okay. So I, I've i seen friends of mine with legendary Pokemon. I feel like now that they've introduced them and if they're making them so accessible, doesn't that take away like the prestige of the game? Oh, and... no, no, no. They're not that accessible. It's a 2% capture rate. Oh, Jeez. Damn. Yeah, it's not easy. Why don't you just say all. there's a no percent capture rate? Well, I don't know, Aaron. I, I very much remember, I believe you were with me uh, in Borderlands 2 trying to form for, uh, farm for those special shotguns uh -huh. where we'd beat the same boss over and over and over again for a 1.5% drop of this incredible shotgun. Oh, the uh, conference call? The conference call, yes! Yeah. That was an epic gun. And then you get two of those, you run up, and then you can beat Cromorax. Like, really fast. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you can't knock it when we've we've been there. Yeah, but there was no actual, like, physical walking around exertion for this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that's all your thing. You're, you're trying to lose weight, I thought. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely uh, am. But, I mean, I, I'm not going to play Pokemon Go for that. Are we going to, uh, you know, s start this VGB weight loss challenge? What? I mean, we, we Wait, can't. What? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Fill me in on this. Uh, so, Aaron's trying to lose weight. Okay. A massive you know, amount of weight. To, not a massive. He's trying amount. to drop his his large pounds. Trying to trying to drop my uh, for those of you who only, summer weight. Those of you who only listen to the show, Aaron is huge. I'm two twenty five. He sits on two different chairs when, he, when he's. Hey. Damn. <laughs> two twenty five. Well, you can see people. the show live. Nice. <laughs> uh, body shaming uh, added yeah. to yeah, Corey. No, it wasn't body shaming. I was yeah. just like, people, I wanted yeah. to, body, shaming? body shaming. I wanted to let everyone know who has never seen punch Corey in the balls. Wow. Uh, all right. Said you just asked another man to touch another man's balls. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what you asked. And that's not going to happen. That's horrible. You know what that means? It means we're drawing near the end of episode number 200, and it was fantastic. Yay. Thank you to everyone who called in and left those voicemails. Thank you to the chat who's been popping off. We've gotten some uh, very awesome new uh, subs today in Ivy Doom Kitty. Thank you so much for your subscription. All these new follows. Look at that. As we speak, more and more follows. Uh, but yeah, I think the next stunt we should do is the weight loss challenge, Aaron. I need I wanna, an excuse. I want in. Why do you need yeah. an excuse? I want in too. I only do things when in. there's insane amounts of competition. I win. I I, I want in. I, uh, You're in? I lost, okay. I, I lost eight pounds since Thursday. We well, you you use count yet. Yeah, you better put that yeah. back on and then lose it again if you, you want. Because it doesn't start. Because you just played yourself. Literally, all I did was start working out. That's all you did and you lost weight? Yeah, Is, well, I stopped simple? working out like two months ago and I put on like 15 pounds. And I've been trying to lose it and literally just start. I worked out Thursday. I worked out Friday. Oh, I lie. I lie. I worked out Friday, Saturday, took Sunday off. Then I worked out Monday and yesterday. And I lost eight pounds. I went on a walk yesterday. Sweet. Around That's the cool. block. Did you po play Pokemon at least? No. You should do that while you're walking. When I walk, I like to think and, and, and reflect and stuff. Like I can't play and, trivial And create games. new songs? Yeah. Oh, so that's where it comes from. Good Lord. So uh, let's do this. We'll do a weight loss challenge. Maybe after the show, we'll come together with some terms and uh, we'll, we'll challenge the fans too. Maybe we do like a fan thing where we could have 
them do the same. Yeah. You know, if they, uh, they you kind of got to be along. careful with that. Because they can cheat by cutting no, off No, no, no. You got to be careful with that because some fans might like take it super serious and like lose weight through not healthy means. Do you know well, what I'm, already, I'm already using a tapeworm, so. And FinFin has just been uh, unlegalized. Oh, your tapeworm? How big is your tapeworm, web? Wouldn't you like to know? Since ninety percent of my body. Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, that's, that's a personal. <laughs> Damn it! I uh, can I get a special <laughs> shout out? Go ahead. Uh, a special shout out to uh, Susan Points, everybody. My grandma. Susan Points. Why? Uh, just a wonderful lady. Just a all around wonderful lady. Well, I know that, but why are you saying that? Yeah. Don't worry about that. A little concerning. Uh, have a nice day, Susan. Hope you're having a really nice day. My grandma, Grandma Bling. Is that what her nickname is? Yeah, Grandma Bling. Uh, uh, fine. <laughs> okay, I didn't know we were doing this, but I guess we're doing shout outs. Uh, Webb, you got any shout outs? Yeah. No. Yeah. Ivy, any shout outs? Uh, shout out to my sister Amy for being amazing. I love her to death. She's awesome. Um, and puts up with my crap all the time. Oh, wait, I want to shout out to Ivy's sister too. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah, she's, she's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah she so, is. Yeah, shout out to Amy. Shout out to Max for being a badass and always having my back in everything. Absolutely everything. Uh, and shout out to all the fans because without you guys, we wouldn't be where we're at, you know? And Truth. it's because of you guys that we've been able to accomplish so much. So you guys are the freaking best. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, the haters. Okay. Here we go. I love the haters. I've always wanted to give a shout out to haters because all the cool rappers do that. So uh, That's just shout out to my haters. Uh, we call them fans, though. Um, shout out to my co-host Aaron Been with me since day one Of this magical carpet ride I have, haven't I? Uh, yeah mm. uh, Webb for uh, you know doing a lot of work A lot of the, the, the ones and twos And the stuff behind the scenes uh, Ivy for forcing us to step up our game On a bunch of things that we were uh, Honestly slacking on Before she came on like Things like social media And things Little like things. Yeah, little tiny things like promotion and, and things like that. So we, we appreciate her uh, opening our eyes to those things. And uh, and the fans, all the Twitch chat. I love you guys. Even the ones that don't like me, I love you guys because you make me better. Uh, and I made the music go too long because I was hoping to end at that point. But um, yeah. Awkward. All now. right. Awkward. Now, now we're just <laughs> terrible. Uh, we're just doing this. That's there. It's gonna. Be... No, I thought it was gonna be right there. That was there. I thought too, it was yeah. right You're there. Damn, it was getting horrible. You know who um, I have not seen in chat? Who haven't you seen? Nismonic. That's fine. Um, he's in my heart at all times. That's because Corey's not locked into his. Exactly. You should be yeah. giving him a shout out. Nismonic, my yeah. boy, the broken brilliance. Your number one. Yeah. Somebody in Facebook chat says shout out to the lady Corey stole seventeen dollars from. Oh, yeah. Shout Monique. out to her. Huh? Knew she was gonna come back into this conversation one way or another. That is the end of the song. Thank you everybody for two hundred. Here's the two hundred more for David Webb, Aaron Carter, Ivy Doogie. My name is Corey saying peace.